What's up, guys? It's your boy Alien CX. Today, guys, I'm be watching a video that involves um the YouTuber Leon and getting his ass beat for being a dumb piece of shit, bro. This man has done multiple dumb shit, but this time he finally gets revenge. Somebody finally gets revenge against him because he chose the wrong person to go and fuck with. And when you fuck with people that do not fucking want to deal with your fucking idiotic dumb fucking shit, bro, you get your revenge back, bro. Right now, it's how it. It's got some bad news about some shit. A little bit pissed right now, so I'm not gonna be supply. I'm not gonna lie. You might have me a little bit more on the pissed side when it comes to this video, based on my response in general. But we're gonna go directly into this video, and yeah, I'm give you guys my opinions. So let's go, bro. Since we last talked about our favorite Indian friend, as well as his buddy Jack Doherty. But recently the two of them have both had their own individual drama, and they've also been beefing with each other. Neon, let's go in the ring right now, bare knuckle fight. If you don't do it, you're scared. Let's go tonight, we can run tonight. Some of you may remember that Jack is the one who put Neon's OF girlfriend Sam on the map, and I guess the intertwining of all of these different relationships has finally started to cause some turmoil. Go. I'm going to Sam's room. I just want to make sure no one's in there hiding, you know, another man. Oh, you're going to Sam's room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, gotta make sure. Oh, don't worry. What? Oh, wait, I have a passcode to Sam's room. You don't get that. Wait, Still. I want to make sure she's not naked before you go in. And now we finally got the crossover episode like when Jimmy Neutron and Timmy Turner came together that one time to save the world. Only this video is a much more accurate representation as to what transpired between the two cancers of online entertainment. So first we gotta talk about our guy Jack the Ripper after he found himself in hot water over this clip. Thank you, Those guys. order screens are so unhygienic. No. Right, well, you probably haven't had food in six days. Let's get one thing right, bro. These kids are fucking idiots, bro. I'm not even just gonna say kids. He's a grown ass fucking man, bro. You should know what the fuck he's saying and not be a dumbass in point, bro. And two in general, bro. Him using the N word, I'm not gonna be fucking surprised. This guy's a fucking idiot, bro. He's a fucking piece of fucking dog shit, bro. This is a dumbass for some reason. He's still on fucking YouTube, right? which makes no fucking sense to me. Why they let this fucking cancel on YouTube? This dog shit of a fucking person, but YouTube fucking removes fucking good youtubers but then leaves dog shits like this so i don't even fucking know so i don't even i don't even know what to say but just like like i'm not surprised that this dog shit said fucking nigga but like go fuck yourself you're a piece of fucking trash but whatever man <laughs> And as you guys can see right there, Jack's life is kind of flashing before his eyes. Obviously, I had to mute out the word for YouTube, but he calls a viewer simply teasing him about eating at McDonald's, the N-word, with a hard ER. And the interesting thing to me is how casually it just comes out of his mouth. You probably haven't had food in six days. Shame. Notice how he immediately says, oh, I'm just kidding. Like, he knows he f***ed up. Shame. And I mean, for him to just say that word so casually, I feel like off stream, he must just be saying it all the time. Let's get one thing right, but we know that man is saying that shit all the time, but that's not no fucking surprising in any way. That Adderall is whooping this man's ass. Of course, after catching Flack online, he would later come forward to deny the entire thing ever happened. I literally cannot believe I have to do this right now. How the f do people think I said the goddamn N word? Are you? I literally said hater. Watch the video back. And when I say the word hater, say the word hater in your head. If you say the other word in your head, it makes it sound like it says the other word. Other word. But I'm, I literally talk so fast that it sounds like it. And shut the fuck up. You ass talking at normal fucking speed, bro. You said nigga, own up to it, bro. And shut your dumb ass the fuck up, bro. You fucking little fucking snail. You fucking little weasel. You piece of fucking dog shit, bro. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. It, but. I said hater. I say the word. I say fucking hater all the time. Like, if you watch any of my videos, you know I say that shit. Like, what the f is this shit? I'm literally gonna sue all these people saying I said that word because they're literally saying I said it straight up. F that shit. I mean, I'll straight up say it right now, dude. Shut the fuck up. Stop saying it. You can sue whatever the fuck you want to, but you still said fucking nigga whether you like it or not, bro. So shut your dumb piece of ass up, bro. You're fucking piece of fucking garbage, bro. You did say the n-word in my book. That's why immediately after it came out of your mouth, you knew you f***ed up and you questioned your entire life. Like, why would you say my bad after calling someone a hater? Either way, it's kind of just your typical day over on kick. And we'll actually get into Neon being humbled here in a second, but before we do, we have to talk about this fight that Jack Doherty and Neon had where things actually did get physical more than once. And so they're at some sort of event here and Neon decides to 
Okay, let's get let's get this shit, bro. This is what happens, bro. Man gets his ass fucking beat, bro. When he gets his ass beat like a little bitch in general by Leon, because Leon fucking walked his ass and kicked his ass to the fucking bio fucking sphere. But we're not gonna watch this area. The main reason we're watching this show is for the main reason you guys are here for is to watch we Neon Neon get his ass beat for saying dumb shit, bro. So I'm gonna skip this part, bro. Do you wanna know what pretty much happened? Jack Doty tried to fucking fight Neon. Neon fucking walked his ass like a little bitch, and that's what happened, bro. Because they're both just little dumb bitches. Okay, now we're in the part that mostly matters, bro. This is the part where this man gets his dumb ass fucking knocked the fuck out, bro. I wish it was this, this dumb ass actually that got knocked the fuck out, but no. We don't got this dumb. We don't, we don't, we've not seen this dumb ass. We already got, he got knocked out by a fucking little bitch, bro. And now we're about to see the other little bitch get his ass knocked out, too. Because he's a dumb little piece of shit, bro. But yeah, let's go. I have X amount of viewers. You know, obviously stream and talk shit about me. Don't forget that you paid me $20,000 to do a stream with you. You're a fan. Now here's where we get to the further embarrassment of Neon. After he tried to troll Nate Diaz of all people and got absolutely embarrassed. I mean, you can feel the secondhand embarrassment through the screen on this one. When you do get knocked out, are you going to retire? Who said that? So I know who you are. I mean, he might be the only person dumb enough on earth to try and troll a professional fighter who is known to not give a single f**k. Yeah, or if- little bitch boy, you fucking little pussy <laughs> fuck. if, if, if you do, if you do. I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be watching. I just, it's I'm excited to see much. both sides. But you notice how he just immediately folded from his question. First he's like, oh, when you get knocked out, what the fuck is gonna happen? And Nate's like, bitch, you said what? It, I'm gonna kick you in your fucking leg, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, even the man fucking say, aren't you the little, isn't that the little bitch that, just got, that, that got knocked out by the fucking dude? Like, even people know, that's how much of a fucking disgrace you are, bro. People know about your fucking disgrace of you literally fighting, bro, a little bitch boy. And you almost losing the fight too. So in general, but why the fuck are you involving somebody that has 15 years of fucking fighting in the ring, bro? dominating people why you look like a fucking little a little fucking chick chicken wing ass little bitch boy bro you should shut the fuck up and this fucking kick streamers bro please just fucking send them to the never run bro send them to the fucking gulag bro i don't know why the fuck we still need them in fucking life bro like they just waste a fucking life itself <laughs> I, I have a lot of respect for everyone man it's just i want to see a great fight you <laughs> he when you get knocked out right here and this is where Nate makes his greatest point about the current generation and the one right under it coming up. Little shit kids like this little bitch talking in this motherfucker that is like uh, changing the times. Need your little ass whooped. I got little girls over here that'll fuck you up. You know what I love? I love how right here he's smiling and everything, bro. But once his ass gets like getting fucking chased the fuck down like a little bitch bro he is, he's gonna start crying like a fucking little baby ass bitch bro wait for it and watch it but it's the sweetest moment of entire fucking life history bro i mean yeah he's just not the smartest individual talking all this shit when he's standing in a room full of people who would turn his body into a literal pretzel and like i said earlier nate diaz and the people he has around himself do not give a shit and it seems like they're always ready for something to go down i, I blacked out what did he even say to me Bitch. Okay, wait, car, get in the car. I'll call, I'll call Masvidal, just get in the car. Um, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so they would chase him down the block for a while and then he would end his stream. After this all went down, him and his security guard, Leon, would get into it. Thank God you're all right, but uh, Toledo's people crazy i know yeah they're like they're grown men like actual grown men neon by you're a fucking grown man my boy you're fucking 20 bro it's because you're a little bitch of a specimen but i wish i did not even i wish i didn't even fucking share the same fucking i wish i didn't share the fucking same fucking birthday with you bro i wish you were nowhere even close to my birthday because you're a waste of fucking life itself my boy it's gonna let you know about you're a grown ass man it's because you're a little skinny ass bitch fucking boy and you fucking look like a twig my boy does not mean that those people were oh bullying no you're a bitch you got fucking destroyed because you're a little bitch boy that's what happened 
By definition, you are supposed to be a grown man yourself. You're the one that went in there trolling a professional fighter, and when you troll him, you're probably trolling pretty much all of his family, all of his entourage, and you expect them not to do anything. You're out here playing the victim. I told you, that is why I told you when we were walking. That is why when you sat down and asked me to show you what's going to let, like, like, let's get one thing straight, bro. This one thing I know something. Why the fuck does this guy, bro, this respectable fucking specimen, this actually person that has common sense, why does this guy actually take care of him, bro? Why the fuck does he actually become his security, bro? Because I would not secure this little bitch boy, bro. Like, this guy's actually a good person. But for some reason, he has it in his mind that, oh, I want to I wanna fucking, maybe it's just because of the money, bro. But I would not fucking protect this little bitch boy in any fucking time because he's a piece of fucking waste of life, my boy gonna happen if you do it that's why i showed you exactly what was gonna happen and it happened exactly like i told you yeah i won't lie this man deserves a raise never mind i'm done i, I don't need to talk anymore about it y'all do you i'm sitting here telling you and you want to talk to the chat I mean, a security guard isn't just an excuse to do as much dumb shit and talk as much crap as you want. Yeah, I was scared for you, bro. I'm God, bro. I'm like, yo, hopefully this nigga don't get hit by a car, I had bro. to, though. If I just... This nigga, I know, bro. Them niggas is mad big, bro. I'm like, yo. <laughs> Why would you try to start beef with those guys? Like, I know this man is probably looking for a clippable moment because I have not seen much go viral about him lately. But I don't know, the whole situation just makes me laugh. It's always fun to catch up with what's going on in the world of Dumb and Dumber. But I do want to know what you guys think about these. I'll tell you what I think right now, but I think that it should knock his ass out. It should beat the living shit out of him, bro, and dump him in the fucking trash can. So somebody knocks him out of his fucking head, bro, where he's close to where, like, he's like, oh, maybe I should stop doing dumb shit. Maybe then he will fucking think, bro. It's me, your boy, Alien CX. Peace the fuck out, man. I'm done.